I'm going to show you how to create a simple API with Hono. But first, why should you even care about Hono? Well, it's a faster modern alternative to Express.js. It has similar syntax, but it's supercharged with a faster router and first class support for TypeScript, Bun, Dino, and edge computing. On top of that, Cloudflare is actively using promoting Hono, which is a good sign that its best days are still to come. Let's jump into some code. First thing we need to do is create our project. And lucky for us, Hono has a CLI command that makes this easy. We can choose our template, install dependencies, and then open up the base project it created for us. Our project comes with a Hello Hono route, which is a great starting point. I can show you the built-in TypeScript support by checking for suggestions. Since we're getting suggestions on the context object, that means TypeScript is working. Now I'm going to test this endpoint out locally by using the REST client VS Code extension, which allows us to make HTTP requests from our code editor. In order to test locally, I need to first run the dev server, and we can do that from the terminal with bun run dev. Now we can create an index.http file where we'll be able to call our local dev server. All we need to do is put our URL in and click the send request button here. And there we have it, our hello Hono response. Hono gives us an easy way to handle any routes that don't exist. We simply add this app.notfound function and it will catch all the non-existent routes. Then we can respond with a JSON message we can say message not found, and then we can add the 404 status code. Let's test this not found function by sending a request to a fake route. Click send. And there we have it. Just as expected, we received our 404 not found message. Let's fetch an imaginary product by its ID. To do that, we can do amp.get, and then we can create the URL we want. For us, we'll do slash products slash colon ID. Any segment of the URL that has a colon in front of it becomes a URL param that we can pull off of the context object, just like this, c.rec.param, and then add the ID as a parameter. Then we can go ahead and return a JSON response. We'll add OK true, and then a message that contains the product ID so that we can verify that we pulled it off of the URL correctly. Now we can test out our new route. Let's duplicate the previous URL. Then we need to update it to slash products slash ID and click send. Oh, I forgot the S at the end of products. Let's try that again. There we go. We pulled off the ID correctly. What if all product IDs are supposed to be six digits? Well, we can update our route to only match on IDs that have six digits, zero through nine. Now, if somebody sends a request to slash products one, two, three, then they'll get a 404, which is not very helpful. So we can create another route that will send a more informative response and we can call it slash products bad ID. From here, we can send a JSON response, letting the sender know that their product ID must be six digits. Now, if we click on our products one, two, three, we're gonna expect our 400. Yep, just as expected. Let's duplicate this. And now we can update it to products one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go, we get our valid 200 response. Now I'll show you how to serve static files with Hono. We can add an app.use route and we'll call it slash static. Then we can add the wildcard symbol to tell Hono to serve all of the files in the static directory. We'll need this serve static function and we can specify the root. We'll tell it dot slash. Then we need to import the serve static function from Hono slash bun.
We'll also need to create the static folder over here and I'll add an index.html file. And I'm just gonna copy paste an HTML file I already have to save us some time. This is a very basic counter. All it does is increase or decrease a count. So to test this out, we can go to localhost slash static. And there we have it. Our HTML file was served successfully. It wouldn't be an intro video if I didn't show you how to write a test. Bun comes with a built-in test runner that is wicked fast, so we can use that. We can import our describe, expect, and it functions from Bun. Then we need to import our Hono app. Let's write our first test for the invalid product ID route that we created earlier. Our tests need to be async since we'll have to await the response from our app. And using vanilla JavaScript, we can create a new request object and provide it the URL that we want to test with. Then we can send that request to our Hono app, which will give us back a response. We then need to transform that response into JSON. Now we can write our expectations. We're going to expect this to return a status code of 400. And then it should also give us a message, product ID must be six digits. Now we can run our test from the command line using bun test. And there we have it. There's so much more to Hono, including middleware for auth, JWT, and logging. Hono is growing fast, so it's a perfect time to start learning. Happy coding and Godspeed.